Welcome to our introduction to Windows XP. In this video, we'll show you how to organize the Quick Launch Taskbar. In a previous video, I showed you how to add shortcuts to the Quick Launch Bar. However, you may want to actually remove icons. For example, here I have a Windows Media Player shortcut. If I want to get rid of it, I just hold the mouse over it. I don't click, I just hold the mouse over it. And when I'm ready, I right click, and I have a number of options in the context menu that opens up for whatever I happen to be holding the mouse over. That's a useful thing to keep in mind. Wherever you are in Windows XP, if you right click, it brings up the context menu which Windows feels are the most relevant actions or options for where the mouse is. So as you can see, you can bring up the properties of the icon if you want. You can rename it, though that's not really relevant for the Quick Launch Taskbar. You can delete it, which is what I'll be doing, and there are some more options. So if we just left click once to delete, and am I sure I want to send Windows Media Player to the Recycle Bin? Yes and now it's gone. So there's a gap here. There's the divider. I can left click and hold that and drag it over to make the quick launch bar a bit narrower so it doesn't have any blank space. What you can do as well is right click on any of the icons. So let's right click on the Internet Explorer icon and what you can choose is Pin to Start menu. So left click and nothing appears to have happened. However, if I now left click on the Start Menu button to bring it up, you see there's the shortcut. So it's been added there as well. So if I wanted to do the same with Firefox, let me left click anywhere to get rid of the Start Menu, and Mozilla Firefox, right click, and left click on Pin to Start Menu, and left click on the Start Menu again, and now it's there as well. So that's how you can get started organizing the Quick Launch Taskbar and also add shortcuts from the Quick Launch Bar to the Start menu. 